guys, Gregory here. So as you can see today, I'm trying something a bit new. I've moved the camera to a corner of my room and I'm trying a different setup. I think I quite like it, so I may continue my videos like this. The only thing I'm missing is some lighting. Currently, I think the lighting could be a little bit too harsh, especially if I lean back. And sometimes if I lean forward, it gets a little bit too, well, I get a little too dark. So I have some lights that I ordered and hopefully soon all that should be sorted out, but bear with me in the meantime. So today's song is very beginner friendly. It's going to be Knocking on Heaven's Door by Bob Dylan. The song has just four chords and really just one showing pattern. But I am going to give you some tips to kind of help you spice up your rhythm a little bit to add some dynamics between the verse and the chorus. So our first chord is going to be a G major and that's the first finger on the second fret fifth string, middle finger on the third fret sixth string, and the third finger also on the third fret but on the first string. And we strum all six for G. Then we're going to find a D major, that's the open 4th string, 1st finger on the 2nd fret, 3rd string, middle finger also on the 2nd fret but on the 1st string, and the 3rd finger on the 3rd fret 2nd string, and we strum 4 strings, the 4th to the 1st for D. Then we come across an A minor, that's the open 5th string, middle finger on the 2nd fret, 4th string, 3rd finger on the 2nd fret, 3rd string, and the 1st finger on the 1st fret, 2nd string, and we strum from the 5th to the 1st for A minor. And the 4th chord we're going to find is a C major, and that's the 3rd finger on the 3rd fret, 5th string, middle finger on the 2nd fret, 4th string, and the 1st finger on the 1st fret, 2nd string, and we strum 5 strings, the 5th to the 1st for C. So the structure of the song is quite simple. Like I said, they're just four chords, and those four chords are played over eight bars in this order. It goes G, D, A minor, A minor again, and then G, D, C, and C again. And that is repeated throughout the entire song. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit more emphasis on the strumming. I'm going to give you three options for strumming patterns. The first one is going to be very beginner friendly. It's not a very busy strum but it still does fit the mood of the song because the song has a slow to moderate tempo. The second one is one that's a little bit more upbeat, a bit more groovy. And the third one is really an additional strum that goes with the second one. It's one that we're going to use more so in the chorus because the chorus is generally more upbeat than the verses. So let's take a look at those. Strum number one, the beginner friendly strum, it goes like this. Down, 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 down. Downs, okay, very basic, but also like I said, very beginner friendly. So I want you to think of it as one, two. So now one, two, then to D, one, two, A minor, one, two, A minor again, one, two, G, one, two, D, one, two, C, one, two, one, two. It's quite simple. Now, to really make the strum stand out a little bit, you'll realize in the way that I say it, and even in the way that I play it, I accent the second down. The first down, I hold back a little bit on my strum, but the second one is accented, and that really makes it stand out. So instead of just strumming both strums at equal volume, one, two, one, two, like that, that really sounds rather bland. On the first down, hold back a little bit, strum a little bit softer, and if you can, aim for the lower strings of the chord. So on G, you can aim for the bottom three, like the sixth, fifth, third, okay? On the D, from the fourth string, maybe the fourth and third string, if you hit the second one, it's fine too, for the first down. And then the A minor and the C, try to hit from the fifth string, maybe the fifth, fourth, third, for the most, right? So that'll be the first down. On the second down, we could strum the rest of the chord and maybe just a little bit louder. We don't want it to be too loud, it's just a little bit louder. It's an accent, okay? So we have, if I was to say what I'm doing, we have low, and then the high strum. And then next chord, D, low, high, A minor, low, high, low, high. Next part, G, low, high, low, high, C, low, high, low. And that's it. So the second strum is really just a step up in terms of energy from the first strum and it sounds like this. Alright? And 
And it's important to note that the dynamics are still there. If you looked at the previous strum, I'm still accenting that second down, okay? Or the, the, the down that comes in on the every other beat, the second and the fourth beat. So we have one, two, and a one, two, and a one, two, one, two, and a one, right? And so on. And that really does bring out the strum a lot. So everything is really soft. Right? But that accented down is really just a little bit louder. Try to maintain it and your strumming will really pop. So let's talk about how to actually strum the strum. So I can break it up for you into two parts. The first part is really just down, 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 up. And that is played over G and D. So we have down, 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 up again. And on the A minor and C parts, it goes down, 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 up, 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 down, up, down, up. That's a lot of ups back to back. So try to make sure you're in the habit of just keeping your hands swinging. Okay, that really helps you overall to become better at strumming. So one more time, we have down, 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 up, down, down, A minor, down. So before moving on to the third strum, I realized that after recording that part of the lesson, that the strum may be a bit more for intermediate players or intermediate strummers, I suppose. And that is because the strum requires a type of finesse, the ability to separate soft strumming and louder strumming, you know, right on the beat. So what I have for you today, for those of you who may not be on that level yet, I have a little freebie down in the description. It's a link that you can follow and submit your email and in your inbox you get a very short but powerful lesson to help you with your right hand to begin becoming more of a dynamic strummer, if you will. So do that. Go down in the description, submit your email to the link and look forward to that lesson in the inbox. So the third strum is really an additional strum that is meant to play it with the previous one, the second strum, and this one we played in the chorus. All I'm really doing is adding a couple more strums just to add some energy to the song. So I'll play the end of the verse going into the chorus so that you can hear the difference between the two. So we have um, a feeling of knocking on heaven's door. is I'm just strumming everything. I'm strumming down, up, all the time. I might miss here and there, but I'm more or less just hitting down and up repeatedly. But I'm trying to keep those extra downs and ups really soft, okay? It might sound loud on the microphone, but I'm trying to keep it quite soft because the more busy a strum gets, the more busy a strum gets, it's really important to have those dynamics of loud and soft. So even when I'm doing a full strum, I still have that accent that I talked about in the last two strums on the second down, you have on, on the second beat rather. So it goes one, two, and a one, two, and a one, two, one, two, and a one, two, and a one, two, and a one, two. But there's one other thing that I'm doing there that I realize I am still accenting those ups and come in at the end. So it goes down, up, down, up. D, and the A minor. So you have up, 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 down, up, down, up. Ba da 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 do 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 da 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 C. Up, up, up. Right? 
that also really helps to kind of push the song along. So I suppose this strum is a bit more to the intermediate level, but it's an option. You don't have to use it. You can stick with the first strum or the second. So what I'll do for you now is I will play it a couple times. You can practice along with me. Really listen to what I'm doing. Try to listen for the dynamics in my play, the loud and the soft. And let's see how it goes. So starting on G, a one, two, a one, two, three, so chorus. Nom, nom, nom. So that's it for the lesson guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Choose any of these strums, strum 1, strum 2, or strum 2 and 3 to play the song, the choice is yours. If you enjoyed the lesson, please like, share and subscribe, it'll help me out a lot, but until next time, goodbye.